You're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the dock part if you fail. I've got Bosco. I can't fail. Actually, I can fail. Welcome to some Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Lightning speed. A roguelike uh, auto shooter. Which means that I'm not shooting. It's just doing it automatically. I'm just running around being an idiot. I've played a few games so far and not managed to survive. D not managed to survive at all. But that's okay. That's what the point of this game is. You're supposed to... Basically, collect your upgrades and everything. Then outside the game, you get more upgrades, which means that further attempts will make it'll be easier and easier until a point where you can actually survive it. I've got very close, but not fully there yet. It's a drop pod. So I need to go find the drop pod, and it'll say to clear out the area if it's blocked, and then stand in the area until it summons. There's all the area that I need to clear. And then stand in until it reaches the edge and pop. Okay, what we got? Small chance to find nitro when I dig, gold when I dig, explode in a ring of fire when I take damage 30 seconds. Cool down! That one! Oh, bonus objective. I need to find more kite. Yeah, we need secondary objectives because you get a ton of XP and you get some gold from it. Gold and nitro are what you use to upgrade yourself between layers of the dive. Pop! Thank you. Exploders deal friendly fire, so we want them to die at all possible opportunity. I'm going to take the grenade. It's been doing good things for me. It slows targets and it deals AOE damage. Little purple dots that are dropping, by the way, are from bigger elite stuff. It just means that you get more XP from them when you pick them up. Let's just go for flat damage. Praetorians will dig through rock, just not very fast. Woo! That was a lot of XP. That was two levels. Take that. And crit chance. We have a magnet. Magnet sucks in everything that's dropped on the level so far to you. It's just a random drop from... Uh, just digging. Let's take reload speed. So my next gun unlock will be at level 15. Okay. So that big boy just appeared on the left. So every floor of the dive basically ends in a mini boss. When you kill the mini boss, the drop pod will spawn and you got 30 seconds to get out and go to the next floor. So if there's anything you want to collect, like secondary objectives, get it before you kill that thing. Because you will be pressured to leave, basically. I'm going to attempt to go around him, like this. Go and get this Nitra. Uh, more kite even. Thank you for the freeze! Not good. I need to circle around again because I saw some more Nitra. Uh, more kite? Not Nitra. I know what I mean. Critical chance. Explode! Oh, it wasn't close enough. Hmm. How rude. But this is the downside of leaving the mini-bosses up. The longer that it's alive, you get periodic times where the bugs in general will just go stronger. Use the Explode to destroy the rocks, which allowed me to complete my secondary objective. I now have 30 seconds to get out. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. Especially if you have to dig. Or oh, there's a lot of enemies in the way. Time's ticking, Move it. Okay. 
Stage one. Complete. So now we get spenders, gold, and nitro that we collected at the top. Take that. That's the... So the pickup radius is like the hoover of picking up XP. It gets bigger and bigger the more you collect. I guess I'll take armor. This is good. So now go an overclock for my main weapon. Because it's reached level 6. Electrical. I believe... Electrical bounces to several targets. So that's going to be really good on a rapid fire weapon. Then let's increase its damage and let's go. Level two. Load up and, get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. and the idea is you do this right through until you get to the bottom of the dive on level five, where you then take on a boss, which is a big dreadnought. And we don't really fuck around with that thing. It hits like a tank. And it has as much health as one. Reload speed. Decreases the weapon load speed on all weapons. Yes, please. Next time I level up, I'm going to get another gun. I'm praying for the carbine. I'm not really sure it's called the carbine, but it reminds me of a carbine. Basically, all the shots that it deals become... Uh, pierce all targets in a line. So it is really good at killing the Exploders. Because you get a massive group together with Exploders in it. The bullet shoots through the whole wave. It pierces through the whole wave. It kills the Exploders in the middle of the wave. And they just kill everything in the wave. Wait with that. I'm not going to get the drop pod on this run. Oh, I've well, I've cleaned out the area, so I need to come back round if I can. I'm going to try that now. Pop. Exploders really are your friend in this if you know how to pop them. But when you start get oh there it is it's a m1000 classic i call it a carbine i don't know why but the bullets it fires pierces everything in the line so now we need some decent damage on it i need this upgrade okay Might as well. I'm healing myself. Get permanent extra health. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yes, please. Oh, secondary objective. Really should pay attention and do it. going to be a bit tight. Oh, we're good. We're good. There's the bonus. Oh, there's about five more kite here. Four in a row. So this is the power of a carbine. The, the M1000 classic. If it actually shoots... It's killing the Exploders, which are killing the Praetorians and giving me a ton of XP. Collect. Need these materials, they upgrade you outside the game. Oh, there's a big boy explosion! Yes, the Exploders chain together, if there's multiple. Movement speed. Definitely need some movement speed. Makes it safer to pop them. Oh, mining speed. Yes. Pick through rock faster. Fire rate on the... 
uh, M1000. If I call it a carbine at any point, that's what I mean. It's the M1000. I don't know why I call it that. Um, critical chance or damage on the... Let's go with chance, because it affects everything globally. Collect some gold! And we'll kill this Mactera shitlord. Eventually. Yeah, so the electrical upgrade that I picked up on the main gun, it it hits nearby targets by the look of it. 25% damage on the piercing shots. A bit of XP before we go. An extra bismol that I missed. Hm, cool. Oh, we got a lot of gold. Very nice. Now give me some juicy upgrades with it. Ooh, boy! Let's imagine your weapon is a lot prettier. Well, they're always pretty. Okay. This is very powerful. That. 15% damage on all projectiles. Yes. Six percent crit chance, and then I'll move on. You can re-roll and heal there, but I'd rather save it at this point. More kite. Level three, so shit's gonna start going real. You start going a lot more bugs. Just as standard. These little ones running around, you start seeing them a lot more. But I should have the damage now to deal with them a little bit easier. Okay. Old secondary objective, close. That's 13. Grab this Bismore. Gold! Here comes the boys. Gives you permanent health because of the upgrade I've got. Go on, kill the, kill it, kill that exploder. There we go, big boy explosions. Do it again. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we want. Pick up radius. Nine armor? Holy butt stuff. New weapon. Final weapon. So that one that I've got highlighted on the right shoots it basically shoots up, down, left, and right all at the same time. It's a big cross, but a little more direct weapon. That one I wasn't really impressed about, but it is electrical damage. But this is a boomstick, it's just a cone shotgun, shoots everything close to you, so, in, well, in a cone. Very useful, especially on the bigger health things. Uh, not back and slow when you take damage. Yeah? I need more kite. Let's have a look, see if we can find some. I want this. I'd like to not take too much damage when I get it, though. Nitra. Here comes another wave. I'm going to pull these in here a bit. If I can bait a chain explosion. 
Oh yes, boys! Flat five damage. Let's take this. Oh Christ, that's upgraded again. Oh, it it has upgraded. Twenty five percent load speed. No, I want that. Flat ten damage. Ten percent damage. Holy hell, all of the stuff is happening. That will increase my lightning on my main weapon, but... This AoE is nice from this grenade, so let's get it a little higher. That affects those two weapons. Though normally that would also affect my main weapon, but because it's now electrical, it's not considered kinetic. So, oh, just upgrading those guns is fine. And another level from that. Movement speed. It's a no-brainer. Big boys here, chasing me. Where the fuck is the Morkai? There it is! Hoping that exploder would have killed him. A bit too far away. I'm near these exploders. Ah, sod it. Just kill him. Oh, wrong way. Dig like you've never dug before! Oh god, I want some of that. Uh oh. Do I need to get out? Ah! My weapon is a lot prettier. <laughs> 62 nitro, 95 gold. Ooh, yeah. 12% XP gain. Ooh. That's big. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some levels into that thing. Fire rate on the shotgun. Yeah. Have a try a reroll. 15% damage on all projectile weapons. That covers everything. Or 15% damage on all kinetic. Or 35% health. 15% flat damage because that affects everything. It is going to be very pog. Ulu caps. I've got a bad feeling about this op. Actually, for the first time, I'm going to look at my bars at the bottom as they reload and see what the reload speed's like. Pretty fast. That's not bad. Faster will mean that I can throw up more grenades, though. So powerful that grenade. Just slowing everything constantly. I'm actually wondering now what the other classes do. Because I can only play the scout, that's all I've got unlocked, but I imagine the driller does as you'd expect, it drills fast. He's obviously gonna have his Weapons that are specific to him. Uh, the most intriguing for me to see how it works is the engineer, because his main shtick is he's got the turrets. Pop! So does he just run around and drop turrets willy-nilly? If so, that, that might be quite funny, just you're running around and then just turrets just pop out of you and start shooting. Oh, I need this lot to pop. Hot for me! Come on! Oh, oh, he likey. Crit chance. It just covers everything. 
not limited to one thing like the elemental stuff is. The gunner, I imagine, just does a shitload of... Well, he has some ridiculous weapons anyway. I imagine he just gets ridiculous. Having a minigun, rockets, and whatever the crap he's got. <laughs> Although if the engineer is allowed to have that beam weapon, that shit's gonna really hurt. I love the engineer too much. Let's do... Max HP. Let's actually focus on the secondary objective. Another wave is going to spawn. Oh, shit! Right in the middle of it! Thank you, Exploder. Do it again. Kill it. 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 Pop it. There you go. Let's try and... This. Come on, there you go. Uh, critical damage. I'd rather have chance over damage. Does it show you what I've got? So, critical chance is 29%. Critical damage is 200%. Ooh. Chance is not bad. That's better though at the moment, just because of the sheer amount of damage it's going to do to a wave like this, piercing through it. Doing like 500 every then it hits. Oh, Mac Terror, that's the worst enemy I wanted. Thank God for the grenade slowing it down. Oh, and we've got arms appearing. Nice. These aren't too bad, as long as you just keep moving. Big boy explosion time. I was expecting bigger boy. There we go. Oh, there's so many exploders. There is so much explody boys! Pop! Give me all the chocolate. 15% damage, reload speed, or change its type to fire. Fire burns them over time. So, let's give it a go. Fire burns? I know, shocked. Look at all this I missed. Oh no, the drop pod is now surrounded. I chose extremely poorly. Thank God for that belt that deals damage when I get hit. Okay. All projectile weapons. Look. Reload speed. Is this tier 5? Okay, tier 5. The Dreadnought will emerge when you destroy the small cocoons. And watch out for elites. Keep your cool, you will make it out just fine. So, like he said, there's the big boss that was in that big egg. There's a number of little eggs. Those little eggs are also displayed on the progress bar at the top. If I don't kill an egg before that first egg, it'll spawn it for me. Ooh. That's my electrical weapon, and it's dealing quite dirty damage at a dirty rate, so... Let's get it going nuts. Dirty damage at a dirty rate, hmm. How dirty. So I need to find an egg. 
So I've got to this wave, I've got the boss out. I've got him down to about 20% and then I died because that boss hits like a motherfucker. So you want to be able to break all these egg, these little eggs and kill the contents of them, these elites, before he appears. You don't want them chasing you. It just becomes too hard then. Nitra's not really going to serve much of a purpose anymore because I'm not going to travel to a new lair once I'm done. I'll be mission over, so I'm going to leave the Nitra. XP is still good, obviously. More upgrades. Oh, hi. We killed an egg. Drop pod is next. The surface is too packed for the supply pod to land. Please clear it. Over here. Rock's half broken anyway. Cool. Um, guess I'll take this. Heal up a bit. Find an egg. Oh, the other egg popped. I thought I'd put it myself, but I didn't. Deal some focus DPS to it before it gets surrounded too much. One thing I have noticed, you don't get exploders down here until the big boy spawns. Then you start getting Praetorians and exploders. 10% fire rate. Solid shit. Kill the bug. There we go. And funnel these through and get some XP from it. Right, there's the other egg. So I want him dead before the progress bar gets to the boss at the end. Shit. Come on. Get your ass over here. Oh, yeah. What's crit chance? 29%. Is this going to upgrade again? If it gets to 12, it will. Ooh. Ooh. On the off chance, there'll go another upgrade. Come on, kill it. Oh, found a magnet. Another upgrade. Fire rate or fire rate or fire rate across everything. Dreadnought. Big boys here. Now the Dreadnought will charge. So I always want to be able to move left or right to get out of the charge. I never want to be in a position where I've got to mine to escape. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get out of the way of him. And he deals so much damage, he'll probably be able to two-shot you. Going down. Want to keep him like this, where he's the main focus of at least the carbine and my main gun. Oh, this is not good. Put a tail back.
Ooh, it's keeping up. 50%, less than 50%. Come on. This is about as far as I've got before. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is not a good position. Oh. They're going stronger. Uh, yeah, pile everything into him. Dodge! Come on! Oh god. Oh god. Don't you dare charge. No! Fuck! Dead! Oh fuck! 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 you! I survive! <laughs> Don't know why it lets me pick an upgrade. Holy... I thought I'd lost that at a couple of points. Oh well. We got there. Wow. I did it! So much XP, so much damage. Kinetic damage. That probably came from the M1000. Some of that. Yeah, nearly did 2 million. It did... Four times as much damage as ever as uh, the cryo grenade and the shotgun. Jesus, that thing is so powerful. I want to get the engineer. I want to know what he does.